I think we can all agree that God has richly blessed our country for almost 250 years. And one thing that amazes me is that a minor miracle takes place every four years on election year. It's not election day, which is tomorrow. Very important that everyone get out and exercise their vote. But it's what happens a few months after in January. It always amazes me that we experience a peaceful transfer of power. We've done it 11 times now in my short lifetime and dozens of times throughout history that every January, no matter uh, who loses or wins the election, the loser always concedes and peaceably transfers power to the next person. Now, we don't know who is going to win this election uh, for the president or for many other races, but it's just stunning that so many cultures and throughout so many centuries have had to fight and kill one another and, and go into civil war, essentially, when they don't like certain outcomes. We have never done that. Only once. We've been through one civil war in the United States, and I hope and pray that we never go through another. And it's really dependent not only on the losing candidate to have enough honor and dignity to go to the winner and, and concede the race, um, which I believe will happen this time. It, our election will not be decided tomorrow, Election Day. Everyone predicts it'll take weeks, maybe months, for all the ballots to be counted, which they should, and to go through the court process, which it likely will with lawyers, and go to the Supreme Court, which it very well could. But at that point, it needs to stop. And we all need to lay down our swords and concede, not only the losing candidate, but all of us who backed the losing candidate need to accept the reality of the, of the race is over. And we have <clears throat> potentially elected new leaders. And I think as Christians, we're called not only to uh, back our leaders, no matter who they are, because their fate is our fate as a people, but also we know that um, our leaders, elected leaders, are not our rulers, that our ruler is God, of course, above us in heaven. Oftentimes in ancient cultures, there was no separation. Um, whoever was your emperor was also your, your king, who was also your God. But now we know that is not the case. Our elected officials, civil servants, lead us and guide us and help make us establish our laws. Hopefully they're fair and just for all people. But our, our emperor, our, our king, uh, resides in a much higher throne. And so we worship God and we exercise our right, we exercise our right to vote. And I hope and pray you all do that tomorrow. And I hope and pray you'll join me in a peaceful transition of power uh, come January. Uh, whoever the winner is and whoever the loser is, may we accept it and may we see each other as brothers and sisters here on this great earth. God bless. I'm Pastor Craig. This is your life for today.